All right, folks, let's give you a little furious update. You know, I had to deal with a fuel cell, a brand new fuel cell, and the seam on the back split. God knows why. Hadn't done anything with it. Put fuel in it for the first time, and it, came, it just went running out. So uh, I got a new fuel cell. It's a different brand and shape different. It's uh, this square is, is different. Uh, just, it was a mess. The sump is on this one here is narrow and long. And it's not as you don't drop down as far. The other one, the other one had this wide sump and it dropped way down, but it only went back about this far. So that made me have to redo this frame that I built to uh, mount the batteries and the fuel cell down to. I had to redo all that, and I tried two or three different, just kind of roughed up a couple different designs. Even thought about using a piece of aluminum. I said, nah, I ain't gonna do that. That's, no, that's not gonna work. So. Uh, Finally got some steel and I'm getting ready to get it all welded up. That should be done here soon. Uh, we'll have that done. And uh, the hood, thank you Bruce for the decal, it looks great. I uh, got the hood ready to uh, just get, I got the hinges made, just get them bolted on. Got to get my buddy over here to help me make sure things lined up. I don't want to screw that up. And uh, got to put a door hinge on this side. I got a sagging door hinge. Drive shaft safety loop. Uh, the universal ones don't fit. That's what's on it now. It's, it sits back too far the way the transmission tunnel's made. It's real tight. And uh, it's crazy. And uh, so I had to custom make one. My bad. I just measured wrong. I don't know what the world I did. I thought I had it right. But uh, we got it all welded up. Went to put it in. It, was, well, it wasn't even close. There was no way in the world to make it work. So I got to cut it back apart and re weld it, get it all back up straight. And we. We know we're about an inch off on both sides, so that'll help. So that's that's the way it goes. You mock stuff up, sometimes it just don't work. But second try, we should get it. So that'll get the drive much better, much safer drive shaft loop, correctly installed to meet tech, and that's the main thing. And who cares what tech thinks? It's my safety. I care about my safety, all right? And that's that's the deal with this fuel cell. That's why I got upset over the fuel cell. Uh, I didn't like the fact that it had a, it sprung a leak on the scene that uh, really made me angry but anyway we're done with all that and uh got new cell and uh hope to be out soon uh, uh, as we get close to christmas we'll have a little more time uh try to get out here more a little bit more and uh spent quite a bit of time in the shop day quite a bit of time shop the other day and uh so uh man if everything goes right get some more time in the shop uh, if the welder don't break down that's probably the next thing's gonna happen uh, but if everything goes good, we should have our, we should be buttoning this thing up soon, real soon. All right, folks, take care.